This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I am the Buffalo John Renton, just a show where you can ask me any question you've got from the wide world of technology and occasionally outside of it, like this week. Uh, up this week, we're going to talk about Techno Buffalo meetups, what phone you should get, Netflix killing TVs, and all kinds of other questions right here on Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. If you want to have a question featured on an upcoming show, every Tuesday we put an article up on technobuffalo.com. You can leave your question right down below in the comments. Otherwise, any day of the week, any time of day, you can send it to me on Twitter at john 4 lakers or at technobuffalo and use hashtag AskTheB. So our first question comes from the website. It comes from Billy Clark. Hey, John, will Techno Buffalo ever be doing a meetup? It'd be great to meet the fans and it'd be awesome to meet the staff. Uh, I'm totally open to it. I'm not, I just, maybe I feel like it wouldn't be that exciting to... Maybe we hang out with all of, all of ourselves all the time. Uh, but if there's interest, I would absolutely do a meetup. Uh, we're sort of split up. The office in Southern California. We got some staff in the East Coast and the Midwest. Uh, maybe a meetup in LA would make sense if you would come to one and you want to see one. Uh, you know, please let us know, leave in the comments. And if there's enough people that are interested, I would love to meet um, the audience and meet the fans and just meet fellow geeks. It's fun to sort of nerd out with like minds. So the next question comes from Asher A, who asks, hey John, do you get more lag on your next device than any other phones with similar specs? So Android lag is a thing that a lot of people still believe exists. When Android was in its infancy, there was Android lag. The phones weren't as quick. You would scroll through a website, for example, and the phone would lag. I'm talking cupcake and donut versions of Android. Modern version of Androids with dual core, quad core, and crazy specs, there is zero 0.0 Android lag. It doesn't exist anymore at all. An Android device is fast as anything else out there. So a Nexus device, especially without any sort of fluff on top of it, is crazy fast. You'll not have any lag there whatsoever. So next question comes from Twitter. User Hugh A. Tiernan asks at John Four Lakers. Thoughts on leaks from a tech journalist and a tech lover's perspective, good, bad, or both? So those are two totally different perspectives. Let's start with sort of the journalist and a business owner's perspective. So they're super good for content, super good for shows like this, talk about new stuff that's coming out. And they're also kind of honestly very good for business. People are really interested in talking about it. Those articles and those videos get uh, a lot of views. So, you know, from one perspective, it's really, it's nice. From a tech lover's perspective, I still, I can't get on board with them. I know we participate in them and it's such a huge, huge contradiction, probably a little hypocritical, but I used to love the mystery of a new device leak. You know, what was Apple gonna do? What's Samsung gonna announce? What's HTC gonna do next? There is zero mystery anymore at all. Uh, I would wager by the time the iPhone 6 comes, we're gonna know everything about the phone, probably have actually seen the phone, whether or not there's one or two of them. The all new HTC One, that's probably the most, one of the most leaked phones in history. You know, there really isn't any surprise anymore or any wonder. It's more of a formality when a phone gets announced. All people are waiting for is price and release date. Everything else we already know. I don't know, I kind of like the wonder and the not knowing. I like being surprised. But on the other side, I like having new stuff to talk about. I like geeking out over specs. You know, oh, the new HTC One, it's, you know, it's round. It looks kind of like a metal Galaxy S5. Is that what HTC was going for? Kind of gives a lot of cool things to talk about. So. Totally different perspectives there. Hopefully that helped answer your question. Next question comes from Twitter at scenes123 asks at John Four Lakers, what phone are you looking forward to in 2014? So the answer is a few. Uh, some of my favorite phones of 2013, looking forward to their successors. So that would be the HTC One, which I love and I'm super excited about the all new HTC One with the dual cameras and sort of the ability to focus afterwards, I think is really cool. I got a baby that moves a lot, which we'll talk about actually in the next question. Um, but it'd be nice to be able to focus and make sure that picture is always uh, going to look sharp. So next HTC One, absolutely. I'm always curious about what Apple's going to have next. I would love a 5.5 inch iPhone. I love the phablet size. I hope that rumor comes true. So the iPhone 6. And last but definitely not least, the new Moto X. Moto X squared, Moto X times two. Curious to see what Lenovo does with it, if it still has that Motorola and Google DNA built in. I just loved the feel of the Moto X. It felt like a next device you can customize. We got a cool wood one. I just loved everything about it. Uh, so whatever comes next, I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully that helped answer your question. Let me stop the questions for just a second. Look at this face. I have a problem with shaving. I hate going to store. I hate going to buy razors. It just sucks. 
you gotta trudge to the store, you gotta talk to the person with the bib or try and find them to get a key to that plastic razor giant fortress thing. Then you gotta shell out like 20, 30 bucks for some ridiculous shave tech that I don't need. My razor worked fine, I got the vibrating handle or the freaking laser pointer attached to it. Fortunately though, there is a company doing away with all of that garbage and ridiculous nissitude. It's called Dollar Shave Club and it couldn't be much simpler than that. Uh, for a few bucks a month, Dollar Shave Club ships amazing razors and other bathroom stuffs right to your door. Their blades are just as good as the big shave companies and at that much of the price. Total fraction of it's really, really reasonable. They've got other stuff too, like Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter to make your shave even more buttery smooth, but do not put it on toast. Don't let that name deceive you. And of course, you gotta try One Wipe Charlie's, the new peppermint infused butt wipes for men. That's right, I said butt wipes. They tingle in a good way. Shave time, shave money. Join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. Reality is buying razor stings, it gets expensive, and this is just an easy, convenient way to get razors and all the stuff that goes with shaving right to your door. And this one, a little bit on the personal side, at Flashman163 asked, at John for Lakers, how is life with a kid? For those of you that don't know, I've got a five and a half month old son. If you could tell by the bags under my eyes, it's great. I love being a dad. The only downside is, or one of the downsides I guess, I don't get to see him all that often. We start putting him in a bath at like 6.30 uh, at night and he's in bed usually around 7.15 and I don't usually get home until like six o'clock or you know, it's around there, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. So I only get like an hour and a half with my son and it stinks. He's at the age where he's smiling and giggling and he recognizes people, he's starting to kind of babble a little bit. Uh, and I just, I love getting a chance to hang out with them. I love sort of, looking at him and seeing a little bit of my wife and seeing a little bit of me, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of cool to see like a little person. I still can't believe that like he exists. Like one day there was no person and now there's like an actual human being that we're responsible for. Uh, it is a crazy amount of responsibility. Uh, I have never focused more or been more involved with anybody's bodily fluids uh, before in my life like I am uh, with, with my son, whether or not it's stuff exploding out the back. Before I always thought a blowout something that happened to my tire. Now I know a blowout is something very, very different. I get peed on every day. I get thrown up on every day. And every day I smile because of it. It's just, it's absolutely awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm loving it. Although I'm not sleeping as much as I used to. So hopefully that helped answer your question. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave your comments. Be sure to let us know what you think about the show. And of course, be sure to submit upcoming questions because we'd love to hear from you. Please check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I'm John Rettinger. I'll talk to you in the next video. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.